Did you know that a brown long-eared bat can hear a ladybird walking on a leaf? This is a home for solitary bees. The solitary bees will go into the hole and lay several eggs in several chambers per hole. And what's really interesting is they lay the males last. And the reason they do that is because the males emerge first. And you wouldn't want to be at the back if you were the first one out, would you? So we just had a mayfly nymph uh, that we found in our pond uh, climb out of this pot. It shed its skin and it climbed out and it spread its wings out, hardened wings up and flew off. And now we just got its remains left in the pot and it will fly around as an adult for one day, mate, and then lay its eggs and die again. Okay, so this is sand lizard, it's Britain's rarest lizard. Um, and this bright green male is in his full breeding colours. This is the only uh, lizard in the UK that lays eggs. Right, so fungi grow on all sorts of things. And one that's really cool are the way in which they break down and get rid of poop. There are fungi that all grow and spit out little black blobs off their ends, a bit like... Uh, water pistols and they throw out their spores so they can infect the guts of the cows next time round and then the cows eat them and and there's another place for fungi to live <laughs> so the southern, southern river way has its own unique species of trout that has developed since 1640 and then the river was blocked down at uh, Guildford by the river way navigation so that river the trout weren't able to get back to the sea so they've developed separate I'm Victoria Burton from the Amateur Entomologist Society did you know that this year is the year of the fly so next time you see a fly and think Ugh, no because we've actually got over 7,000 different flies in the UK and most of them are harmless some of them are really important for us as pollinators and waste disposals so try and love flies a little bit more this year Okay. So swifts, uh, the oldest swift uh, has been recorded at 18 to 19 years of age and it has been calculated that during that time it had flown the equivalent of five times to the moon and back in its lifetime. Did you know that butterflies can be poisonous and that they can be both vegetarian and they can be carnivorous? They are amazing inse insects and they've got taste buds. Many of them have taste buds in their legs. Amazing. So in the National Park on the River Mion, we've released just under 3,000 water voles, which is fantastic because the water voles were previously extinct. We've now got a thriving population. So this is a buff tip moth, and as we can see, this is a twig mimic. So it camouflages itself by looking like a twig. So when it lays on a twig, particularly silver birch twigs, then you shouldn't be able to see it. It's really good camouflage, and that's how it hides itself from all those predators.